Hello guys, this is Rich of Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotion guys, I'd like to shout out the Panam Preserve channel na napunta rito at nag-join sa devotional natin. Shout out and God bless to P. Hops, Will C. Joy Lacomba, SSC TV of Korea, Loves Go Winter Channel, Des Villa, Molex Salamada, Saki Karyon, Michael Aborita, Foreman's Work, Yens TV, Connie Vlog, Loris Channel, Heart Ponsalan, Retro Vlog, Honey Love, Heart Billeta, Leo Bacoteco, Juan Anthony Balmoria, Yuselinko Studio, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Sweetie Ding Quadra, and even to, do, to those who did not join us during the premiere year, but still, napunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all, guys. it's Monday but before we start the devotional guys I would like to read you something this is about I am only one but still I am one I cannot do everything but still I can do something and because I cannot do everything I will not refuse to do this the something I can do wow ang ganda ng, ano, no? ng words no? this is by Edward Everett Hale I guess it's not for the third devotion. Now let's open the Bible to Psalms 43, the whole chapter. No? Still, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words used here so simplify the meaning of the Okay, the word of the Lord in Psalms 43, the whole chapter says, Vindicate me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Rescue me from deceitful and wicked men. You are God, my stronghold. Why have you, re you rejected me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? Send forth your light and your truth. Let them guide me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Then will I go to the altar of God. To God, my joy and my delight, I will praise you with a harp, O oh God, my God. Why are you downcast on my soul? Why so disturb within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. Amen and Amen. <clears throat> I guess let's not pray. Yes, Lord, why so downcast on my soul? Teach us to praise you, O God, when things like this happen. Lord, we cannot avoid problem, but you are there, controlling us, O Lord God, to be strong. Your grace is sufficient for us, O God. We pray to please takot talaga kami sa problem, O God. And as much as possible, we do not like it, O God. That's why, Lord, we pray for your leading. We pray for your uh, confidence to be upon us, your grace to be upon us, na matapos mga problema na sinasuffer namin, O God. Lord, do not prolong our problem, for it will consume us, O God. Lord, I pray for those who are here at this uh, time. May you bless them, continue to bless them, Lord God, that whatever heaviness they have in their heart, Lord God, will soon go away by your grace. Lord, we pray, help us solve the problem because on our own, we can really do nothing. We cannot uh, solve it, O oh God, but by your grace, all is well, my God's well. Yes, Lord, we commit all these things to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. So, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Psalms 43, verse 3. It says, Send me your light and your faithful care. Let them lead me. So, the title of the verse for this evening, guys, is Navigating the Storm of Life. Dami ba? Okay, on July 16, 1999, the small plane piloted by Chad F. Kennedy. Uh, junior crossed into the Atlantic Ocean. Investigators determined the cause of the accident to be a common error known as spatial disorientation. This phenomenon occurs when, due to poor visibility, 
pilots become disoriented and forget to rely on their instruments to help them successfully reach their destination. As we navigate life, there are often times when life gets so overwhelming we feel disoriented. A cancer diagnosis, the death of a loved one, a job loss, a betrayal by a friend, life's unexpected tragedies can easily leave us feeling lost and confused. When we find ourselves in these kinds of situations, we might try offering the prayer of Psalms 43. In this psalm, the psalmist is overwhelmed and feeling lost because he feels surrounded by evil and injustice. In despair, the psalmist plead with God to provide his sure guidance to help him safely navigate through the situation to his desired destination. God's presence in verse 4, 3, 3 and 4. In God's presence, the psalmist knows he'll find renewed hope and joy. What are the tools the psalmist requests for guidance? The light of truth and the assurance of God's presence by His Holy Spirit. When you're feeling disoriented and lost, God's faithful guidance through His Spirit and loving presence can comfort you and light your way. Amen and amen. Guys, mahirap inivigate yung life natin, especially when we are disturbed. Many times we felt so hopeless. We felt that God is so far away from us that we cannot pray. Because our mind was so focused on problem. Guys, God is there waiting for us to pray. And sometimes God immediately help us and the bridge your problem. Kasi, we are close to God. That if you are also close to God. Kaya kailangan talaga natin na mapalapit kay Lord. And daming storms, storms sa buhay natin. And we really need God to help us navigate our boat na hindi tayo masidla ng tubig yung boat natin para magsink. God is there, kaya yung na-post ko dyan na picture. They are really in a terrible storm, no? but God is there. God is their confidence, so let's also make God as our confidence as we navigate our life through the storms of problem. Okay, guys, let's now proceed to the two question. What disorienting circumstances are you experiencing? This time, yes, I have. And probably you know the situation. I will not tell you, but uh, many times I've been telling this uh, dito sa devotional. Kaya, other than asking God, I'm really doing fasting, you know, to make my prayer effective. Kasi fasting is also an instrument for us to make our uh, prayer effective. Kaya yun, I'm really doing fasting. Okay, second question. How might you ask God to help guide you today? Yes. As I start my day, before I rise up from bed, I read the Bible, meditate on it, and then pray. Para everything will go well. Walang kapalpakan. Uh, Siyempre, takot tayo sa problema. No? Walang problema ang darating. But instead, blessing ang darating. Hindi problema. I guess that's not pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, thank you that you've not left us alone in the challenging and disorienting circumstances of life. Help us to rely on you to guide our steps today and tomorrow. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, let's ask God's guidance to guide our step as we move forward. God bless us all, guys, because I know God surely bless us 10 times better. This is again, it's Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo mula tayo sa muli. Paalam!